Now, the higher the death toll gets, the fewer number of families there are there are at an auditorium in Jindo. For the past 10 days, hundreds of devastated families of those missing in the ferry disaster have been camping out in this auditorium nearby the accident site. All right, Connie Lee has been there covering their story for the past few days, and she joins us live. Connie, tell us what the atmosphere is like there now. Hey, Daniel and Kan Young. Well, earlier on this Friday evening, there was a briefing held by officials from the Coast Guard, Navy, and private rescue divers for all those directly involved in the search and recovery process. Now, the briefing was held in their words to clarify some misunderstandings. Now, referring to a blueprint of the sunken ferry, each official explained to the anxious family members here at the Chindo Auditorium that they are doing their best to retrieve all those still unaccompanied accounted for. Most divers are apparently only getting about two to three hours of sleep each night as they work around the clock. Officials explained in detail which areas of the ship they have entered and which areas of the ship they have yet to explore. After some arguments from unsatisfied family members, though, the briefing ended in applause, with family members thanking the divers for their work. Now, this sort of clarification from search, res uh, search and rescue officials comes a day after family members here exploded in anger. Around this time, late last night, the family members stormed out of the gym and onto a bus to Pingmukong Harbor to confront search officials there. Now, as you heard from our Chizan reporter earlier, there was a bit of a protest between family members and search officials. Now, family members were angry that search operations were slow and accused officials of not being transparent about their search procedures. Reporting live from the Chindo Auditorium, this has been Connie Lee.